Hey, welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to look at the fact that uh, you can inspect the condition um, when you that's been thrown when you're inside the debugger. It's kind of handy. So let me just uh, jump over to the other machine. We have a little function, and it's going to throw an error when x is greater than 10. Um, so let's let's cause that. We can pass in 5 and 10, and we can see that it works. Uh, but now we're going to swap things around, and we're going to make x larger than 10, at which point it's going to throw an exception and say 11 is madness for some reason. Now, I was very used to the fact that you could come down into the backtrace and go and inspect these values, and that's super cool. Um, just by hitting return, uh, we can go and look at the value of whatever it is. Um, but there's another thing you can actually do. If you just come up to here where the condition is, up into any part of this string and hit return, you start inspecting the condition object itself. And this is really cool because a lot of the times um, it's been made by having a format string and some arguments passed in. And that means you can then go and inspect those arguments there. Now in this case, it wasn't super valuable. Um, but a lot of the times it's really handy because you can see exactly uh, the full, like say if this was a complicated object, you can go in and start walking through it or hash table. You can go and inspect those values and uh, if you're obviously if you're using Emacs, you can hold down Meta and hit Return, and it's going to take this object and drop it down into the REPL. So then we can say first of star, and we can get that value. Um, or we can go in here and again Meta Return, and it drop again kicks that value down to the REPL so you can use it. That's super useful. Sometimes um, again something's broken and you know that the problem is inside the object that they mentioned inside the condition. So you just walk into, inspect into the condition, find the object, go over it, hit meta return, and then say def var sum temp, right? And now you've got that big complicated object in a temporary variable where you can play with it until you work out what the problem is. Um, so I think that's super useful. And that's all I've got for you this episode. So uh, I'm going to hit stop and I'll catch you in the next one.